Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Agritech once again. I hope you all are enjoying my videos. I hope you all are enjoying my content as well. Well guys, if you have any feedback, any suggestion or any comments towards my channel, please do not forget to leave your comment on comment section below. Alternatively, now I am available with Facebook as well. You can find me with Agrotech official group on Facebook. You can explore that platform to leave your feedback and suggestion as well, as well as whatever you want me to cover in next lecture, please leave your message on Facebook, either on YouTube channel. Uh, I prefer to leave um, all of your messages on Facebook because it would be safe there and I will try my best to respond to all of your messages as much as possible. Guys, well, whatever you want me to cover uh, in next lecture regarding agricultural science and agribiotic, please leave your message on Facebook so that I will try my best to respond to all of your messages as much as possible and as soon as possible. Today I'm here with a small lecture that is about what are the basic steps that involve in genetic engineering and I'm taking an example of recombinant DNA technology. This is well renowned and it, it is easy and highly efficient technology genetic engineering technology. Guys, if you um, like my channel, if you find my channel is informative, why not to press like button and please do not forget to share my video towards your colleague and help me to grow my channel. Let's um, move on to the steps. I have separated um, steps um, on four or five steps. Let's move on. Let's move on to the first step then. What is the first step in um, genetic engineering in recombinant DNA technology is isolation of donor DNA. What is donor DNA? The DNA which has a small whole DNA or a small fragment of DNA that has specific ability or specific property that we can use for a certain benefit. For example, I'm taking here an example of E. coli DNA. Here in E. coli DNA, the yellow highlighted portion has a specific property that that segment of DNA code specific ability or property which is useful. And we want to use that portion of DNA for something else. So what do we do? We have to isolate that fragment of DNA. How? By using restriction enzyme, we cut um, that fragment of DNA using restriction enzyme, we cut it out, then we use it, we use that fragment of DNA in different way. Second steps, what is the second step? Is preparation of recipient vector DNA. What is the um, recipient? Is one um, like um, the DNA, whole DNA, from different of same organism, where we gonna manipulate, insert our donor DNA. So what we do, what, how, how we prepare recipient DNA. We take um, appropriate um, DNA from either same organism or different organism, and we cut or we open that DNA to make space available for donor DNA. For example, I'm taking here again E. coli DNA, the red highlighted segment of DNA, we're gonna chop it out. How? Like in same way, we're gonna use the um, restriction enzyme. We cut that portion and later on, oh, we make space for donor DNA. In some cases, what we do, um, we just open up vector recipient DNA to adjust our donor DNA there. Guys, if you um, like, if you want me to see uh, in an improved version, or if you want me to see with a lot of video, informative video, why not to hit subscribe button? Please subscribe my channel. And let's, let's move on to the third step. What is third step is, we introduce our donor DNA into the recipient vector DNA. How? We already do have caught portion or isolated donor DNA. We have 
open up or the we have the recipient vector DNA that we already have prepared then in this way we're going to introduce our donor DNA into the recipient vector DNA here the yellow highlighted portion sorry yellow highlight yes the yellow highlighted portion is our donor DNA and we already have cut off the small fragment of DNA in uh, recipient vector DNA. What we're gonna do, we're gonna insert this yellow section onto that open up section of that recipient DNA. If you move on to the another example here, the blue highlighted portion was our DNA of interest, our donor DNA. What we have, what we did is we have inserted that DNA into the plasmid another another dna vector dna in this way we introduce we introduce donor dna into the recipient dna then what involved in the next step we have to now after introduction of um, donor dna to the recipient dna we have to transform that dna into a cell otherwise it won't grow so how we do that we uh, we made that uh, recombinant DNA into the test tube. Then we use any appropriate um, bacterial cell. Uh, for example, here I'm taking the E. coli cell. The competent cell that doesn't have anything but just a cell, we have to transform our recombinant DNA into that competent cells, like in this way. We make recombinant DNA into test tube. We will have the um, cell, host cell that we call host cell. I'm taking an example of E. coli. This is the model bacterial organism for genetic engineering. Then we will transform um, this um, recombinant DNA into that um, host cell. We call this, um, host cell as competent cell as well. There is a method involved in how we do transformation. There is a protocol available. You can um, find on Google as well, how we do the transformation. There are different methods um, to do transformation. Usually um, heat, heat method or water bath method or uh, other method that involved in transformation procedure. Um, we have to follow a specific procedure based on what kind of cell we are taking and what the kind of um, like recombinant DNA we have. And usually we use E. coli as is a model organism. Um, so um, it is the one of the efficient host cell. So we have to do transformation. Then in a final step, what we do is we grow this transformed cell that has our recombinant DNA in appropriate media. For example, I'm taking here is E. coli cell. Um, here um, it has E. coli cell has, uh, we do have recombinant DNA first. Then we have transformed into the E. coli cell. Then in, um, appropriate media. For example, E. coli grow well in algae media. We grow this transformed cell, the transformed cell, the cell which has our recombinant DNA, recombinant DNA has our desired DNA fragment, we grow into specific media. I have already told E. coli grow well in algae media. Then in algae media, we will let these cells grow, then we identify if this col colony grows. The only the successful transformation, only the successful recombinant DNA that grew, grew in a colony like this, a small spot on the plate. Take me another example. Um, this is also an E. coli. What we do, it, this picture is spread everything about the genetic engineering. We take the donor DNA, we open up the recipient DNA, we make, recombinant DNA and we transform into the E. coli cell and we grow into a plate in a specific algae media because this is E. coli and if you take a control like we haven't uh, we grow we we grew uh, the donor DNA and the recipient DNA without um, without uh, making any recombination there the whole DNA uh, we have transformed into the E. coli cell we grow into the algae media but they do not grow because 
uh, we use the we have to use the selection. Um, this is the antibiotics, and we uh, we we saw in this way we compare without um, re without making recombination and with making recombination we let them grow separately and we compare because the recombinant DNA has a specific um, selection here KAN and TET these are antibiotics we grow them with both antibiotics and we we saw if we saw the colonies on LB plate then we can say our recombinant recombinant DNA have been grown within the transform cell. I mean that cell, the E. coli colony, have a lot of cells, and these cells contain our recombinant DNA. If it did not grow, we haven't like we can say it's not been success. And how we can uh, say um, we have um, right um, cells growing by comparing these. If we haven't make um, the whole cells, it did not grow because it did not have recombination. In this way, we um, do engineering, engineering, or we do engineering of specific DNA. If you have to manipulate something else, we have to basically follow these steps. First, we have to isolate our desired DNA, we have to open up the vector DNA, we have to introduce our donor DNA into the vector DNA, then we have to transform them into the appropriate host cell or appropriate competent cells, then we have to grow into the specific media and have to see the colony if they grew. We can say uh, we have like our um, manipulation, our engineering been successed and there are different way to validate this. We have to put we have to put negative control, positive control, and our test. Otherwise, we cannot validate the data. Once we validate, we can confirm we have grown our desired man like uh, manipulated DNA into the media. In this way, we do the um, genetic engineering. And in next video, I'm going to give you uh, what sort of methods we use to make um, recomb like not a recombinant. Yes, um, it's not always a recombinant uh, method we're gonna use. Um, in next video, I'm going to give you what sort of method we use in genetic engineering. Um, it um, may be plasmid method, it may be vector methods or some uh, other tools like CRISPR, Cas9, tools and any other methods. So these are the steps. What we do um, is by is. What we follow um, the specific procedure is called steps. But in methods, what I'm going to give you, give you is general um, like um, a method that involve in um, like manipulation of um, DNA. There are different methods like uh, we can make a clone by using plasmid method, this is a plasmid um, method, step involving plasmid method. There would be a vector method, there would be some other tools available. So wait till um, until next video will appear, then in the next video you will get the methods and you will be more clear about the methods involving genetic engineering. Um, this was for today. Guys, keep loving my channel Electrotech and I hope you're gonna enjoy this video as well and leave your suggestion, comment and feedback on both platform, YouTube and Facebook. So this much for today and we'll see you in next video with methods, methods of genetic engineering. Probably I'm gonna cover about the plasmid and vector methods. Thank you and have a very good day for you all.